Hey guys, this is Insomniac Gamer, and this is a requested video that I'm doing right now. Um, someone sent me a message on YouTube saying, uh, hey, why don't you uh, show us your video game collection and uh, your whatever consoles you have and accessories and stuff, and... I wish I could remember the name of this person. I deleted the message. I said, yeah, sure, I'll do that as soon as possible. So, yeah, I'm doing this. And I can't remember the name of the person, but whatever. Um, sorry, dude. You know who you are. Um, so, we'll start off by saying this is my PS3. This is the only console I have. Uh, 60 gigabyte PS3. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, hard to see. And anyways, yeah, that's it. It's up on its p pedestal because it is a beautiful piece of machinery. So, uh, yeah, there's the PS3. Um, with the PS3, I bought this, um, like, $100 HDMI cord, which I think $100 is ridiculous, but... It gets really good picture quality, whatever. Uh, I didn't buy this TV with the PS3, but I use it. I won't, I refuse to use my PS3 on anything that's not high definition. And this TV is awesome. 52 inch 1080p, or uh, I am not, I don't remember, I think it's 1080p. Um, TV, awesome, JVC, makes good TVs. Uh, okay. Um, Oh yeah, um, two wireless six-axis controllers, not the DualShock 3, unfortunately, but whatever. Yeah, I guess I'll get one of some of those soon. Yeah, two of those, and a uh, wireless keypad, which I just kind of got kind of recently, like a month or two ago. I can't get it. It's very, very useful, especially for internet use, sending messages and stuff, and... It just clips on. It has this hook on the back. And uh, it's really hard to do this with two hands holding the camera and showing you guys. But I'm going to try to hold the camera between my knees, which is very awkward, but whatever. And let's hope this works. Sorry, it's sideways. Hold the camera, or you hold the controller like this. And. It just sort of snaps on and it hooks onto the back. Yeah, sorry, it's sideways. Uh, whatever. Yeah, so two controllers, wireless keypad. I got this um, PS2 memory card adapter reader, whatever. Yeah, plug it in with the USB cord and it reads PS2 memory cards. Which is awesome because I had a bunch of saved files on my PS2 memory card. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. PS2 memory card. Lots of good stuff on this card. And I couldn't use it. And yeah, so I got this thing. And it just fits in there. Like that. Okay. Now, for the games. I don't have a very large collection because I'm very picky on what kind of games I like. I love any game made by Insomniac Games, even though I don't have some of the games they've produced. I'm planning on getting them though. Okay, anyways, start off over here. Made by Crystal Dynamics. I have the entire Gex series on PS1, which I got these off of eBay because uh, they're kind of hard to find. These were actually pretty expensive. The third one was about $10. The second one, uh, about 15 I think. And the first one, which was really hard to find, I got this in like perfect condition. Like not a scratch on this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot the discs are black. Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> it makes me think of those old vinyl records. Anyways. Um, yeah, this one was like twenty-five dollars. 
ridiculous because they're ancient, but they're extremely rare and hard to find. And yes, they are awesome games. This, uh, uh, yeah, Gex 2, Enter the Gecko, this was like my favorite game when I was a little kid. So, and I kind of missed them, so I bought them again. All right, for PS2, uh, this one doesn't have a case. Uh, ATV off Road Fury 2. It's, I know it's old, but I love that game. It's a good game. Especially, I like to play this one in first person mode. All right. PS2 games, I have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Three. I love this game too. I know it's really old from like 2001 or something. I don't remember. Got that for six dollars. Great deal at GameStop. Okay, the entire Jack and Dexter series, excluding Jack X though, the racing one. So yeah, I love these great games. Uh, made by Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. Okay. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, if you count the PS3 one. We'll leave that for later. Ratchet and Clank 1, Ratchet and Clank 2, Going Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Uh, this one doesn't really fit in. Whatever. Ratchet and Deadlocked. And this one, Size Matters, which was originally made for the PSP, but I don't have a PSP. And. I thought about getting one, but I'm not sure. Whatever. I'll figure it out when I have some money. Anyways, so yeah, I got those five. And on PS3, Tools of Destruction. Awesome game. I love this game. Uh, the first game I ever got for PS3, Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix, which is actually better than I thought it would be. I heard a lot of people talking about this. You gotta try this game. I was like, eh, I don't know, but yeah, it's actually a good game. Lost, and I've never played this one. I've had it for like a month, and I've never played it. And it doesn't look that interesting, but maybe I should give it a try. Okay. Oh, yeah. I gotta show you guys. Um, now, for the ones on the PS3. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Going Command is in there right now. Hang on a sec. Yeah, Going Commando. Anyways, for these, I have Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty. Yeah. Great game. Um, next is. Spyro. I love Spyro the Dragon, and I was awesome find. That was an awesome find at the PlayStation Store. They had the original Spyro the Dragon, which is amazing because I love this game from when I was a little kid. And yeah, that's all the good games I have on the hard drive. The other two are Go Sudoku and Go Puzzle, which are kind of lame games. They're really dumb. Anyways. Now I have six demos that I've downloaded. Mercenaries 2 is freaking amazing, and I'm gonna get it as soon as I have some money. Uh, Beijing 2008 demo, which was all right, kind of boring though. Fracture, this game was amazing. I love this game. And I will also get this one when I have some money. Sonic Unleashed, it was all right. Nothing special though, it's just like, an it's exactly what you would expect it to be. Except it's in three dimensions, which is kind of neat. Because I am I remember the old the original Sonic, which was like, you go left or right and that's it. And it was really boring. Anyways, moving on. Wipeout HD. This one was interesting. Kind of, it's pretty fun, but I don't think, I, I can't see myself buying it. And Motor Storm Pacific Rift. Now, I played... One of the first games I got on the PS3 was Motor Storm, the original one, and I was expecting a lot more, and I was kind of disappointed with it. I thought it was going to be a multiplayer game, and it was only single player, and that was kind of lame. And I didn't really like that game that much, so whatever. But I decided to give this one a chance with the demo, and it's pretty good. It's alright. I'm not going to buy the game, though. So, yeah. Alright guys, that's my collection of games and accessories, and I hope you liked.
So uh, yeah, please subscribe and have a nice day.